Hey, what is up, guys? It is Tazokum here, back in the arena. Uh, the new Alchemy Kamigawa set just dropped. Uh, I really like a couple of these cards. I really like a lot of these cards. Um, yeah, particularly Kami of Bamboo Groves, which uh, is very similar to a card Arboreal Grazer, but even better. Um, yeah, because it has upside late game where you can channel it to get to forests. Uh, but early game, if you play this in turn one, you're you're ramping on, on turn one. Uh, yeah, it's 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 sweet. Uh, obviously, you need to have lands in your hand. But again, if you don't have lands in your hand late game, that's where channel comes in. Uh, so this card is just great upside. Very little downside, too. Very little downside. And uh, another new card, Boseju Pathlighter. Um... When it ETBs, you just get to draft a land. A lot of these lands, very versatile. Uh, you can get a creature land, Field of Ruin. Uh, there's other lands that let you draw cards. Uh, yeah, very, very cool lands. Uh, I don't think this card is particularly great, but we're going to be hitting our land drops with this card. And they'll be versatile, depending on what we need. And... Yeah, I think... Um, when I saw Kami Bamboo Groves, you know, my memory of Arboreal Grazer was, that card is great in ramp decks. So that's, that's really what we're playing here. We're just gonna trying to go way over the top, just get a uh, buttload of lands before our opponent can get any. Prosperous Innkeeper is our, is really our, one of our only other ramp cards we have for the early game. Uh, making a treasure, pretty versatile. We are a three color deck. Um, so treasure is nice. A little bit of life gain is kind of in inconsequential. Uh, but yeah, if you can go Kami turn one, Innkeeper turn two, we'll be on our way, hopefully. Uh, we do have the Shigeki and, uh, what is it? Colossal Sky Turtle combo. Uh, both these cards have cool channel abilities. Um, yeah, for Sky Turtle... Uh, we're gonna be using our channel abilities early game. Uh, the body itself, the turtle, is kind of good in the mid to late game. And then super late game, we got Shigeki and Colossal Sky Turtle, where we can just uh, get a lot of value, for those of you who don't know. Uh, the channel ability, the, f the first one, the two and a green, uh, you discard Sky Turtle, return target card from your graveyard to your hand. Uh, and typically, you would get back a Shigeki. And Shigeki's channel ability, you discard it, um, depending on whatever you pay for X, return X target non-legendary cards from your graveyard to your hand. So, you can basically just keep on recurring a lot of cards, well, pretty much all of the cards, uh, except for Ren and Seven, uh, from your graveyard with Shigeki. And then Colossal Sky Turtle uh, just lets you do that again, and again, and again. Um... Obviously, that's assuming we're alive, so, uh, yeah, there is a definite control element to this deck. Uh, Colossal Sky Turtle's other channel ability lets you just bounce a creature. That's solid. Uh, so yeah, it can bounce a creature, combo late game, or it's just a big old turtle. I, I think this is pretty good, maybe even worth running four of. I'm not sure, but Mirror Shell Crab, I think, is a phenomenal... Uh, channel creature. More so than the Sky Turtle. Countering stuff is just super good. Uh, they have to pay 3 mana, which is kind of a lot. And then if you slam this, it has Ward 3. It's hard to take care of. It's uh, it's a big old crab. It's it's doing, it's doing crab stuff. Uh, Battle of Frost and Fire. I think it's good to have sweepers. And this sweeper rewards us for going over the top. Uh, once you get to that third chapter, um, ideally things just start snowballing. So, uh, yeah, waking the trolls. Uh, who? Why not? Land destruction. Land destruction. Uh, this card also benefits us from just going way over the top in the late game. If we do have more lands, hopefully we, we're going to have more lands with uh, our Kami and other... Uh, somewhat ramp, uh, slash 
just uh, card selection to make sure we hit our land drops. So Waking the Trolls Chapter 3 will just give us a bunch of trolls and let, let us go ham. Uh, Ren 7, you know, for playing lands, it makes sense to play Ren 7. Uh, the minus 3 to make it the Tree Folk is just super, super good. And um, that's pretty much it. We're playing Red for just Battle of Frost and Fire and Waking the Trolls. Uh, but both of these cards have great upside. Um, not a whole lot of interaction in this deck, besides you know, Divide by Zero and these more expensive spells, so uh, it's it's going to be interesting against the aggressive slanted decks. Um, but that's the deck, and that is the plan. Let's get into this new alchemy format. Alright. This uh this is not a busted start. Let's let's keep it, see what happens. Um I think ideally I don't know, we kind of need to mulligan to get one of our ramp creatures, either the Kami or the Innkeeper, so um uh, Yeah, let's 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 see what happens when we have some adversity though. Not really sure what to expect on the ladder. I mean Enchantments is a thing. The, the, the runes deck is a thing. Um, besides that, alchemy is just all over the place. Black white is pretty good. Just any variation of black white. This is probably black white. Alright, uh, it doesn't really matter. I guess this so it's untapped. Then, um, not sure if we draft or keep the Mere Shell Crab open. Spirited Companion, okay. That's an enchantment, but you're playing black. It could be a, uh, Abzan deck, maybe? I think we still both Seiju, though. There are some good three drops in the deck, though, so... I don't know. Maybe we do... We do go for the counter. I think that seems... Yeah. Like the best thing to do. I'm guessing they're going to play that enchantment. Aspirant. Okay. We have to counter it. Just to be mana efficient. They're playing that on turn three, though. I don't know how scared I should be, really. Um, okay, I guess it's time to find some paths. Or light some paths. Um, huh. Alright, they're playing snow. There's maybe a blood in the snow? Yeah? Huh? This is a blood in the snow deck, huh? Huh? Alright, that's kind of sus. No blocks. Um, what is it? There's... Probably that... Uh... That legendary land in their hand, the white one. Iganjo. I'm guessing that's the only reason why he would attack, you know, just to kill it off. It's not even a great creature to kill, so whatever. This resolves. We get the uh, the tree folk. Calm the trees. The will of the woods is made manifest. Um, I think we can just attack here. Be a little aggressive. Now we got the tree folk. Uh, there's a couple threats to work for him to worry about. Ren 7's just gonna tick up, and then even if you take care of the tree folk in some way, there's multiple threats, so I'd love to see that. Uh oh. Well. Well, that didn't last long. Okay. So, if they play a land, and then blood in the snow, kill all planeswalkers. 
That would kind of suck to be tapped out. I mean, I don't know. I guess he gets back Spirited Companion because drawing a card. So, I could divide by zero with Blood in the Snow. Yeah, okay. Oh, why did you auto-tap that? Ugh. Treasure Vault seems pretty epic. Um, okay, I guess it's not the end of the world if Scavenger Grounds is tapped, because again, we got divided by zero. Um, we will help. Yeah, if we do the zero ability on run seven next turn, it's gonna be pretty crazy. Put f f potentially four lands. Um, so we need a blue source for divide by zero. Okay, okay. We're doing things. We are playing our cards. That's a, g a good sign. No card, no spells at all, okay. Another Pathfinder. Um, I'm gonna have a lot of lands in the battlefield this turn. Okay, Mobilized District is a threat. Yeah, this card, this card is a threat. Um, All of Oracles isn't good, right? Put a plus one, plus one counter. If you play instant or sorcery, we don't really have instants or sorceries. Okay. Um, yeah? The land lends us its power. We might want to, yeah, I think we hold on to Beseju and um, bada bing bada boom. Um, do, yes, we, we want to play a land for turn, so we won't put one of the lands out there. Do this, okay. And now, if nothing else, like if they play no more spells, we can uh, mobilize district. I think. Yeah. So, uh, never mind. Never mind. This isn't the Zendikar land. I thought this is the Zendikar land. Okay. Divide by zero here. Could be good. Blood in the snow is still scary though. Um, whatever. Yeah, whatever. Okay. Teachings that are archaics. Yes. Yes, please. Okay, that's a okay. That's a okay with me. I think I could be wrong, but I think we got some value out of our run in seven. Then let me draw three cards, please and thank you. Um, wow, we can just hard cast the crab? That seems good. Um, we probably... Yeah, we're gonna hold on to the crab. Counterspell's still good right now. Let's just lay the smacketh down. Okay, so yeah, this is control slash mid-range black-white. Uh, this card is trash. You can have it. Wait, we have... No, no, never mind. I forget what these, these cards do. Like, uh... Okay, this one I shouldn't forget because it's still in standard, but I don't know. Nobody plays Mobilize District. Yeah, that's that's that card is trash too. You can have it. Whatever. Uh, do we make treasures or do something? I don't know. Whatever. That's fine. Okay, so. I guess we can mobilize district here, right? 
And then attack with uh, three creatures. Pull back the innkeeper and Mere Shell Crab, their wandering emperor. Don't know what they have in their hand, so maybe I, maybe this is dumb. I don't know. This is vigilance too. That's pretty sweet. Poison the cup. No, thank you. I like my cup to be uh, nice and tasty. No poison in my Kool-Aid. Cool. Alright. Okay. Mm Got a turn one Kami and a bunch of lands. Wait, are we in the play too? Oh, if we're in the play, oh man, then they mulliganed, oh man. guy taking magic seriously because this is a serious game this is this is a this is a ranked game I know they I know they buff this card but it's it's still pretty bad cool lands though respect for that okay there's Shigeki. Well, we have Shigeki with some defense, so I like that. I li oh, we actually have run seven mana. Is there a counter though? Maybe, maybe. I mean, could be. Saw it coming, like, I don't... Saw it coming or behold the multiverse, right? Absorb energy. Alright. Um... So there probably is a saw it coming. I'm gonna assume. And he just wants to counter this with absorb energy. Because he has a creature or enchantment in his hand. So... I'm guessing... Creature? Like, unless, you, unless you're mono blue enchantments, which, uh, that, that would be a bold choice. I, I hope he's playing mono blue enchantments, that would be sweet. I have no clue what that would even look like in, in alchemy. In historic, that's more viable, but, alright, anyway. Uh, so let's see, what does this do again? The top four. Deluge is great. Uh, yeah, I like that. I, I like that. Does ETB tapped, so that's not great. If it was untapped, we could Shigeki and Deluge. Same turn, but I, oh, oh well, I digress. If he taps out here, I'm definitely okay. He's not tapped out. I was gonna say if he taps out, I would for sure just slam run in seven. But as is, this is fine. We can replay Shigeki at least. Um, hmm. Um, Mirror Shell Crab Mana? What are you gonna do? With, with four mana, mono blue... I don't know, I don't even know. I'm just gonna slam it and say fuck it. I'm gonna unsummon something again? Or counter Shigeki? Alright, that's fine.
That's cool. Okay, so Sot coming mana. Uh, if we slam this, we're one mana short of having crab mana. All right, bugger. Let's do this because we have crab mana. I mean, he might just say, like, oh, there's probably a counterspell, so not gonna bother. Otherwise, if he doesn't think of a counterspell, there's no reason why you shouldn't just try to counter this. It's too much value. There you go. And then the flashback is pretty great. This is also great. So we did draw two cards last turn. Um, I don't know. Is this just counterspell tribal? I... Yeah. Oh, this is a big card. Okay. So... That's it? That's it? Just bounce to Kami? All right. I mean, this can get unsummoned. They prepare for war. Uh, don't really have mana for anything else. That's kind of sad. No point playing Kami now. We're at the uh, the channel stage of the game. Honestly, another Riddle Master Sphinx would uh, would be pretty devastating. Water Knot also sucks. Okay. Yeah, not really... We don't really have a way to, st to stop this. Like, there's Boseju. And then in our Lorn board, there's... Uh, you know, that one enchantment destruction spell, but... Yeah. Burns within us. We should be okay if we play it safe. Um, if Riddle Master Sphinx is their win con, we should have ways to work around it. Okay, so we do this. We're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six mana. It's not enough for Flashback Deluge. We do have two counter spells. Or a counterspell and a kami, though. Ooh, Boseju on the water knot? Or Boseju on the wizard class? Ha! Huh. Both seem good. Should. Uh, okay. So. If I'm gonna do the water knot, I should do it on his turn, but if I'm gonna do the wizard class, I should do it on I should do it right now. I guess I wanna take out the water knot. Getting a plus one plus one counter, not that bad. Even if it gets another counter, like uh consider. That's fine. Do it! Oh. Whatever. Okay, that's that's counterable. What set is this card? Oh, okay. Okay. The arena set. Alright, you can attack me cleanly one time with your Sphinx. And that's all that's all I'm gonna allow. Cause uh I want my tree folk back. Oh, 
Bye. Thank you very much. You can you can ramp though. I'll let you ramp. Okay, got a buttload of mana. All right, I guess no matter what, we're attacking here. Um, sure, slam this. There you go. All right, actually, if if they like, have a wizard class get to level two. This can become big enough to kill the tree folk. Doesn't look like they have it though. Yippee ki -yay. Hmm. Hmm. Shigeki? Shigeki sounds good. Divide by zero is kind of just good game then, I think, right? Takes it on the chin? This guy's crazy. All right. Why, though? Do you have your unsummon? Honestly, unsummon is kind of, uh, OP <laughs> right here. Like, I'm not gonna divide by zero and unsummon. I have enough mana to pay for the... Okay, so I can make them pay three, and then they have four mana left. I can divide by zero this. And it doesn't matter. Alright, alright, that's fine. So we're going to divide by zero the Sphinx in combat. And then we're going to Shigeki for a buttload. Cool. No attacks? What is going on? It's kind of sus, but alright. And then one, two, three. There's two. Never mind. Alright. Okay, interesting. Kind of. Didn't didn't expect to see that deck ever. But uh it exists. Alright. Okay, I forgot to look at the hand, but uh, seems like a keeper. I don't know. Look, if we get if we get to, uh, turn five, uh, hitting our land drops, I think we're gonna be all right. As long as we hit our land drops, it doesn't even matter. Uh, what? That card is whack. Do we care about it? Nope. Um, we don't have artifacts for this, so three more forests. We have zero forests. Okay. Treasure vaults, I don't know, kind of, it only really has upside, like, super late in the game. So, right now, I am at their mercy. If they want to go aggressive, I'm at their mercy. If they take too long, though, I think we're okay. Whoa. 
Kami? No, it's my Kami. What the hell? God damn it. He's ramping? This is terrible. This is awful. Okay. Um, they're gonna have some really cheap artifacts. Are there big, cheap artifacts? Like big artifacts that are bad for us? That's a one mana Bella's Breath. That is a one mana. <laughs> it's a one mana 3 3. That is another one mana 3 3. Okay, this one. We must say no thank you to. Alright. Um. Attacks, deals damage, shoots intensity. Okay. Uh, we're gonna have to chump it at some point. Actually, uh, this is a pretty good blocker for Bella's Breath. Because it has just enough toughness for the first uh, intensity. Uh-oh, we don't have a second green. No, how is this possible? How is this possible? Okay. Um, fuck it, let's slam slam this, see what happens. Ooh, still no green source. Uh-oh. Um, so now we have an artifact because we have treasure vaults. But I don't know if that's good enough. Um, District is a decent blocker. Emergent Zone... I don't know. If we were ahead, Emergent, emergent Zone would be good, but... We're not ahead right now. Not by any means. Let's assert Dominance. Alright. Shields are down. That is painful. We just lost. We just lost. Damn. Damn. Well. This is our best bet. Okay. Alright. Honestly, if we get another green source, we'll have Innkeeper, Ren 7, which will gain us a life. Have two blockers. Uh, the intensity being perpetual is pretty stupid. Like, stupid good. That is, that is stupid good. What, did, uh, what just happened? Oh, okay. He's a duplicate. I cannot wait. Okay, so this is conjured. Okay, all right. We didn't get a second green. Um, let's play the creature land. Yeah, the intensity can just go Face, right? Yeah, it'll go face. Damn it. Well. That's a pretty impressive little synergy. Um, and I guess it's not even a little. Like, uh, that was too slick. This, um, this is scary. Wow. Red, blue artifacts. Okay. Really playing the non 
I'm playing the new cards very well. Very, very good synergies there. I'm thoroughly impressed by my opponent. Thoroughly impressed. Hmm, hmm. Uh, we got a Kami. I don't know. Seems playable. I mean, pretty sick, though, to play Kami, which plays Hall of Storm Giants Tamped, and then turn two, Rock Vale Valley. And turn two, Untamped Valley. Uh, okay. Looks like or smells like auras. Smells like auras. Seju could be nice here. I guess their enchantments aren't really the problem, unless there's like a crazy enchantment creature. But um, might just have to play this as a land when the time comes. Okay. All right. And looks like we're just passing here. Gonna wait till there's something big on their board for us to chump with Kami. If they play a Runeforged Champion, I think we just hard counter it. Um, if they play something slower, then we probably divide it, though. Rune of Might. Um, when the ETBs, they draw a card. I think we can just divide this, then. Because it's a bit slow. Okay, we will continue to hit our land drops if we do this. Do we do it though? I think so. Gain a little bit of life. Hopefully get out of range soon enough. Okay, Oseju is nice. Um, kind of awkward spot, though, with Mere Shell Crab. Uh, let's just pass. Um, I think we went first, right? So. Or no. So they did miss a land drop. Okay, this is a two drop, this is a two drop. So, if we get a counter off, I think... We're gonna be feeling pretty good. Hopefully they have a Runeforge Champion, we can counter that. No dice. Alright, now we counter it. Um, yeah, really want to play Pathfinder and Sciences next turn. In conjunction. Um, okay, now it's time to make the chump, I guess. Alright, let's do this first. Hmm. Unity enters tapped, and we want to play our lesson card. It's probably zero graveyard synergy in their deck, so. Treasure Vault has the most upside. Okay. Don't think we're getting color screwed anywhere. Uh, we only really need one red, so... Looks like we're, uh, we're alright here. I think we're gonna turn the corner. I think we're going to. I mean, they can Runeforge Champion and then Jukai... Uh, what's his face? The, the, the Jukai dude? And then combo off. That's the only thing we're really scared of. And it doesn't look like they have mana to do that next turn, so... Uh, 
We gravy, baby. We gravy. That's a great Oseju oh, target. The trees are mighty. Um, it'd be really sweet, actually, <laughs> to get, um, Waking the Trolls. Maybe not sweet, but, like, disgusting. Like, it would ruin their day, probably. Hopefully. I, I would love to ruin, uh, their day, frankly. Day now. Okay. They're out of range of the tree folk. What does that mean? Take it on the chin? Ah. Uh, I guess so. Okay. Seems legit. Holy Boseju Pathfinder. Um, can do this twice and then just zero Ren. Seems good enough. Another Boseju. Wow. So. Yeah, let's actually get this Unity and we can zero it with seven. Like, zero ability with Ren seven. Alright. Um. Bonner's Enclave is really good. You can draw cards. So. Yeah. Let's do this. Bing, bing, bong. Um. We do have a legendary. Legendary creature. Ah, okay. Never mind. We don't have a legendary for Boseju. Alright. Yeah, now we got blockers. Now you're not so tough, huh? Huh? Yeah! Could also double block. Um, I don't know. If you play the uh, Rune of Might uh, into, uh, like, Michigo's Reign of Truth, I guess that would suck. It's fine by me. Um, they can still green and then uh, do that combo I was talking about. Give this trample and then Michiko's Ring of Truth would just make this enormous. And, uh, and then I'm kind of sad. And I'll probably die. But if they don't have that, then I'm going to be able to Beseju, their borrow time, draw a card with uh, Bonner's Enclave. Maybe, maybe make some treasures. Uh-oh. That's one of the cards I didn't want to see. They don't have trample, though, so we're alive. Oh, baby, we are alive. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. One Pathfinder down. I think we're gonna draw first. Uh, actually, maybe we plus first. Ooh, we lose the, uh... Lose the Discover the Formula and Awaking the Trolls. That's... that's unfortunate. Alright, Bonner's Enclave time. Kami's not great. Kami kinda sucks here. Um... We haven't played our land drop yet, so I guess we do this now to play the land we, we draft. Let's see what we get. Another Bonner's Enclave would be alright with me. We're kind of just dead to trample, though. Like, if they have if something that gives this trample, we're dead. If they have a Rune Forge Champion or Rune of Might, we're we're donezo. Okay. 
Okay. Um. I guess we're not the keeper. I don't know. I don't think it matters too much. Alright. The amount of life they're gaining off of uh, <laughs> this freaking one drop. Uh oh. Alright. Well. That was the one out, and they had it. Okay... Oh no... Oh no... We need a lantern too, otherwise we scoop on the spot. That's the plan. You don't get a land and play Boseju Pathfinder, Pathlighter, uh, whatever it's called. Next turn, we're uh, we're done. That's it. Never didn't have it. I 100% would have conceded. I would have conceded there. Okay, so cleric. Um. Yeah, I'm not really gonna channel Boseju because uh, I need lands, so. I think every time I've drafted Treasure Vault, I've never activated the ability on it. I just play it as a land and then tap it for colorless. Um, I don't know if there's a situation where you'd actually like, tap it to activate treasures, like. I don't know. Alright, anyway. What's going on here? I guess we're attacking with Pathlighter. Um, and keeping back Kami? Hmm. Nah, let's, let's go for Broke. You gotta spend mana to recast it, so... If they're spending mana to cast that, they're not playing more powerful cards. Kind of in dire straits, still. Again. Um, are they gonna miss their land drop? They are? Okay. Never mind, we're fine. Never didn't have it. Let's tap this for red, actually. Okay, if this survives, we might hit a land drop. That would be, that'd be nice. That'd be sweet. Okay. <laughs> All right. That, that works too. Ooh D. Ooh D. Ooh baby, this is uh This is a risque. Risque, risque, risque. We're on the draw. So we'll have two looks to get a land. But if we don't get a land, turn two. Okay, cool. Never never mind. Scratch. All of what I was about to just say. Um, I guess we'll play this actually. More color options. Um, yeah, a little bit of a slow start. Luckily, Shigeki uh, can tap and get us a land, which is ramp, technically. Even though we're on the play here, we're looking pretty solid. Divide by zero is nice. Um, Seagate Restoration and Undo Inversion leads me to believe this is a control deck. Which means we gotta just outramp them and then uh, get to our end game where we destroy their lands. Uh, the sooner we can resolve waking the trolls, the sooner we win. It's 
kind of funny that the uh, the two red cards uh, in this deck are for completely different matchups. Waking the Trolls kills control. Waking the Trolls kills controls. Um, and then, what is it that, uh, that Storm, the, the, the other one, the, uh, the red blue one, is like perfect for aggro because it's a board wipe. Uh, alright, so Shigeki, are we doing this now? ETB is tapped, so we won't have to divide by zero. Um, Oh, oh, they're legendary, okay. Almost made an oopsie, almost. Okay, Cascade looks good here. And then just replay Shigeki. And keep on doing our shenanigans. We're on the draw, and we have five lands to their three. I think we're doing okay against Control. We're doing okay. Uh, what is he gonna kill the Shigeki before we untap? That seems kind of weak. And we have the backup Shigeki too. Um, hmm. Actually, maybe we don't even. No, we can play Shigeki because we have Turtle, I guess. Which will cycle. Innkeeper. That's a great draw. Love to see that. Okay, I'm going to play conservative, uh, just in case something comes up. Wandering Emperor, alright, that's uh, something I wish could counter. I wish could counter this. I can't though. This is the next best thing. Teachings of the Archaics? Hmm. Uh, teachings won't cut it yet. Just gotta keep doing our thing. Um, yeah, if all goes well, next turn we should be at 7 mana. So we can cast Waking the Trolls. Potentially. Imrith, okay. That's an oopsie by them. Battle of Frost and Fire, just out of range of Imrith. Uh, okay, so... We just gotta cast it. We just gotta hard cast it here. Hmm... I guess they're low blue. Let's take out this one. So they go. Would have loved to hit a land drop. Would have loved to draw land. Not Battle of Frost and Fire. Not this card. But we're doing okay. We're doing alright for ourselves. If they do attack with Imrith, um, I don't know. We can bounce it, maybe. Don't really have a great way to deal with Imrith forever. Except countering it. Uh, that's a little, yeah, a little awkward here. Maybe we attack, and they block with their Imrith, and then we battle Frost and Fire right after? That's, that's a potential play. I'm sure they have counter spells, though. Wow. Main phase wandering. Okay, they're gonna put plus one, plus one on the Imrith. An attack? No, no attack, okay. That's crazy. That's crazy! Let's do this. Okay. I think we hold open Colossal Turtle. And just when they attack with Imrith and tap it, we bounce it. And it can be all like, ha ha, ha ha ha.
Yep, that's the move. Um, yeah, we do that. We Shigeki. And then on our turn, we make a bunch of trolls. Things are good. They probably have a board wipe. Um, Shigeki, though. The channel ability on Shigeki will get us some cool stuff. It will give us lots of gas. Yeah, if they held open counter magic, uh, honestly don't even know how much that would really affect me. Restoration, the ganjo. Okay, that's fine. Okay, this is a tap ability. So wandering emperor. It's not instant speed though. Since it already entered. Which is notable. That'd be pretty, uh... Pretty gnarly. Tap Shigeki, flash and Wandering Emperor to take out Shigeki. To exile it. Um... Alright, let's... Let's do the Shigeki. Sh Shigeki shenanigans. Okay. Okay. This is all still fine. I assume he has to attack with Imrith here. Whether you, uh, minus or plus. Yep, doesn't matter. Show them how we greet our enemies. Um. I mean, in Simic Colors, the only thing they have to fear is a bounce spell, and we have... Not a bounce spell, but a bounce, bounce ability. So... Are we just in the driver's seat? There it is. Cool beans. Here we go. Only two trolls. I thought we would have made more, but that's okay. Alright, then we can channel at instant speed. So, no need to worry. Let's just stick down the Emperor. I would run if I were you. Alright, this is all fine. Maybe I could have played Shigeki. I don't know. So, I think we're gonna get back to Waking the Trolls. Maybe divide by zero. And maybe the turtle. Let's see how much I have. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's three. And I can do Shigeki for three, so. I think I. I still want to get two Waking the Trolls. Waking the Trolls is just that good against their deck. And then divide by zero. That's, that's great. That's great, too. So, I mean, they can play their Imrith, but they're... Yeah, this is kind of a concession at this point. Like, with only two mana, they're, they're kind of just done. They don't have anything better. They are, uh... Yeah, they're the kind of control player that just wants to like play stuff on curve which I don't know it doesn't doesn't really work out their deck should be trying to answer the threats and uh, that they're not doing a great job of that as a control player 
Sad to say. Sad to see. May your okay. Strike true. Um. Yeah, alright. Here we go. Okay, I guess this is their best land. Um. Yeah, let's just pass. We're gonna new control the control player here. Feels good. We're also trolling the control player here. Feels feels pretty bad for the opponent. I uh Yeah. This poor guy. He's just uh just trying to play some dragons. Is he like just completely flooded? Yeah, this is uh Not looking, not looking too, uh, too bright. Discovered the formula. Only two white open. That's desperation. Uh, they can attack with Imrith. I'm honestly okay with that. I don't even care. If they attack with Imrith, they'll draw a card. Alright. Good on you. Let your blade do the talking. Um. Yeah, Sky Turtle is a little weird to block Imrith. Because the Wandering Emperor can give a first strike, it's uh, not great. Not great. Alright. do this we have one two three four five mana I almost want to just battle frost and fire just just take out a bunch of stuff take out the Emperor they're gonna be able to resolve discovered the formula actually which is a big-time bummer actually no they won't they don't have two blue sources ha <laughs> ha they do have field of ruin uh, which costs mana to tap it Um, yeah, I guess we can Sky Turtle on their turn. And that, that, that seems good enough, right? Alright, I'm, I'm happy with this. I gotta wait a couple turns. These trolls are gonna rack up, and um, I think that's all she wrote. I know. Okay, they have another blue. They can discover the formula. We're still gonna bounce Imrith, and then the clock. The clock is ticking. Okay. We've got the edge in this fight. We've got a lot of vigilance, so I guess they're gonna attack all out here. Uh, we'll probably chump then with Kami. Yeah, that's... It's not great. They're getting their mirth bounced. What you got? What you got? Yep, bing bong. Get 
Get out of here, Imrith. Get out of here. You're not allowed to attack. Unacceptable. Easy chomp. And then... It's our turn. So Battle of Frost and Fire, notably horrible right now. It's really terrible. Not a great card, currently. Oh no. Auto ordered the triggers. Uh oh. Get one less troll because of that. Okay. Um. Yeah, we got Shigeki. We got Channel. Honestly, can I just channel for waking the trolls and a, t and a turtle and then. Isn't that good enough? Assuming I can play, play this turn. I think I can. Yeah. Bing bong. Although that's not a land, so I won't get it back next turn. But whatever. Oh my god, how do they keep getting blue sources? Just stop. Just stop playing blue cards. Stop it. Alright. <laughs> um, I don't I don't think there's a combat trick incoming. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Doomscar? Is he about to Doomscar here? I guess he stays alive for a turn. If there's a Doomscar. Hello? Oh. Hmm. Well, that's nice. That's pretty, that's pretty, uh, pretty gruesome, actually. Wow. Farewell. What a card, man. What a, what a fucking card. Alright, so, as I was saying, Battle of Frost and Fire, pretty great here. It's pretty great. It's a great card for this, uh, this moment, this, this game right here. Love me some Battle of Frost and Fire. Just a solid card, am I right? Am I right? Oh, don't tell me he has uh, a negate. Come on. Ah, uh, come on. What what cheese? What what absolute cheese? I want that battle of frost and fire resolve. God dang it. There we Until go. Next time, then. All right. Still got half of our deck. Uh, we lost the Shigekis. We lost all the Shigekis. And all the Waking the Trolls, which is our best best card. Um, hmm. Yeah, this is a pickle. That farewell, though. That farewell. <sighs> Yeah, I guess I shouldn't have, uh, been greedy. With the Shigeki getting back just two cards, that was... That was very greedy. I should have got back, like, seven cards, so that way I would have cards in my hand. I could have had cards in my hand. Whoa, Deluge! Deluge is great. I love Deluge. Renin 7 would also be phenomenal. Um, I just gotta try to cling on, though. Discover! God dang it. What a card. 
What a freaking card. Wow, they're playing four of the undo inversion. That's a choice. Yes, we have all the storm giants. That's right. No. Uh, we're going to lose our deluge on top. That's awful. Damn it. That's better than he realizes. Fuck. I mean, if we get a, a five mana or greater spell, um, can at least take advantage of the chapter three, but... Yeah, Deluge uh, would have been sick. Ooh, witness the future. For one mana? Why is he still in this game? God damn it. God damn it, blue white control. He flooded early, and who'd have thought that that was the perfect counter to my deck? I mean, playing that one negates. Yeah. Well. Hmm. Uh, I guess we do it on their turn. They can't counter this. Unless they have something crazy that I don't know about. They can't counter this. Bank Buster. Uh, that's, that's a lot of value. That's a shit ton of value. We're not even close to decking each other. We're just gonna... Oh, man, this is... Yeah, it's gonna be a grind fest. Bing bong. No blocks. No blocks to speak of. Trash. Uh, why me? Why me? Yeah, a lot of things did not go our way. Uh, for one, that feel of ruin, shuffling our memory deluge. Oof, ouch. Um, probably shouldn't have Sky Turtle for the Battle of Frost and Fire. Someone call for a hero? Like, the Battle of Frost and Fire, Fire only took out the Wandering Empire, Emperor, and the Token. Like, not, not particularly notable. There's still four Renin Sevens in the deck, right? Like, I, I haven't seen that card at all yet. What is that card doing? By now, I, they probably have, like, Bounce Spell for the Token. Okay, a little interesting, the bank buster. Don't worry. Only a little okay, okay, that's why. Teferi can untap. Okay. Uh, now what, though? They have ten cards in hand. Damn, damn, damn. The farewell from them. Oh my goodness, that farewell. Yeah, just play too fast and loose here. Too fast, too loose. 
Great game though. Great game. GG. GG. I lost to the better player. Alright, let's fuck up some tendies. My favorite pastime. Uh oh, slow hand. Let's go. We need a Kami. Please. Please. Um, okay, let's do this. Yeah, need a Kami, need an innkeeper, or something. Need something. Okay. Classic black deck. Could be another color, but, uh... I don't know, this is an interesting matchup, because these decks are... Weird. Like, they're super creature-heavy, but they're not necessarily aggressive. Like, if I counter a, uh... Uh, what's it called? That blood artist making thing. Sanguine Brushstroke. I counter that. I'm feeling pretty good about myself, you know? Alright, as long as we... Stay ahead of them a little bit. We're gonna be okay. Still waiting on that sanguine breaststroke, though. Where's it at? I know it's coming. Next turn, we ran seven. So, okay, it just happens. Easy. Not really sure what's going on right now. But I know I'm playing a, a powerful planeswalker. Calm the trees, and you will rot at their roots. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do we're gonna do they about that tendies. The trees are ready for war. I'm ready to go. Got the crab here. Got the turtle there. Uh, things are going just fine. Things are going just fine. I mean, we're tapped out, so like, do your worst. Do they have that uh, two mana draw two? That'd be pretty good. Honestly, yeah. That'd be really fun to play. Like, play mono black with uh, some of the new cards. Okay, this is also technically two mana draw two. Technically. the snow I don't know I don't know how I feel about blood in the snow here if I were in their shoes they'd get back an eye twitch and they'd only take out one of my threats so honestly like hmm I don't know same green brushstroke really isn't even that good for them I have battle of frost and fire which can clear a board if they choose to establish one. I don't really know what a, what a good line for them would be. Maybe Hive the Eye Tyrant, take out the Ren. I don't know. It seems like no matter what they do, though, we we got we got some oh, big plays. We got we, we got big plays incoming. We're gonna hold on to our Otawara because we're gonna. Plus Ren, get a land drop there. So. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, that takes care of both threats. Wow. 
Look at you go. Look at you. Look at you. You got a discard now, huh? Gnarly. Alright. Got a deluge. Got a crab. Got options. That's fine. Alright. Um, okay, that's also fine. I think if they play Brushstroke, though, we counter that. No Brushstroke. Okay. Let's go time. Um, hmm. Innkeeper's a nice little bit of ramp. Okay, okay. We'll take one of those and one of these. Question mark. Yeah, one of these. Okay. Um. Okay, we Frost and Fire, we Innkeeper, Shields are down, but we have Battle Frost and Fire. Which, uh, Scry 3 is pretty, pretty great. And then, yeah, I don't know. I think it's best to play this now before they get a bunch of Blood Artists out. Like, what do they get here? Maybe Mascot Exhibition? That's okay. Yeah, I love these, uh... These two cards here. Just, uh... Great option ability. Option ability? Great options you have. It's actually kind of sad, though, that the creatures are so bad. Like, if they didn't have the channel abilities, these would just be, um, like, draft commons that are probably, like, some of the last picks in a draft. But with the channel, uh, yeah, the ability to have the choice makes it that good. Okay, meat hook for one. Forgot about meat hook. That, that's another reason why wiping the board was good, I suppose. Didn't see it at the time, but uh, it's better to be timely than good. Okay, so you're going to be able to scry three. Divide is huge. That's huge. Waking the trolls. I'm enthused. Very enthused. I can actually play that this turn. If I divide by zero and then wake the trolls right after. I can take out their Hive of the Eye Tyrant too. That's a great card. Okay. So I divided by zero main phase. Seems kind of lame. To be honest. Ooh. If I target the eye twitch though. And they have a dispute. I get super punished. Alright. Me hook it is. Um I think I discard the turtle. Oh no no. My hand? Okay. Thank goodness. Tough, tough decision. What do I have in my graveyard? Ren 7's pretty good. Let's, uh, let's lose the crab. Okay. We are in the end game. Going to 
Commence the end game. Although I don't I don't run that card, commence the end game. Okay, here we go. Goodbye, hive. Uh do your worst eye twitch. Do your worst. Ooh, we actually get their hive too, which is kind of funny. Uh, don't have black mana to activate it though, but if we get another waking the trolls, we can get a swamp, and then we can activate it. In general though, um, I feel like the clock is ticking, and out. We got Deluge, get some cards. Maybe we can just play the turtle. Let's get a big old blocker. Uh, yeah, if we're just taking one damage a turn, we're doing all right. Oh yeah, actually, we get to level three, chapter three. Um, that's that's also card advantage. Just casting spells on our turn. Almost. Kind of incentivized to main phase memory deluge. Yeah, if I main phase memory deluge, I get to draw four, discard one. I like that. It's not really draw, it's even better than draw. Because uh, the first two, I get card selection with the deluge. Okay, okay. It'd be kind of cool if he actually goes f to my face with this. Let's me draw. To race. Don't think he will. Probably just draw his own cards. Which kind of kind of lame, but w uh, whatever. Another high bow. Okay. Gotta do it, right? Gotta do it to him. Ren. Pathfinder's pretty good, too. Wait, did that not activate Battle of Frost and Fire? Really? I thought the flashback ability is the mana cost. Wow, okay, that's, uh, that's unfortunate. Okay, I can destroy the hive this way. Um, let's let him sink some mana into it first, though. You can tap all your lands, and then I'll destroy your Hive of the Eye Tyrant. Really? No. Okay. Kind of sus. Just gotta take it on the chin, though. Invoke despair, ugh. I don't like that. I'm gonna lose my trolls. Okay, so I lose my trolls. I get, uh... I take... What is that, four life? Yeah, that's also bad. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. For three mana, I could get back an Innkeeper, which would gain me, at most, two life. By Pathfinder and Ren. I think I have enough mana for that. So I'm gonna need three... I'm gonna need... 13 mana. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, I can't do the play where I play everything. Zero. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Alright. We 
Waking the Trolls. I don't think Waking the Trolls is good enough. But Seiju and the Meat Hook might be a play. Damn, really want this Innkeeper though. I think I have to take care of that Meat Hook. Uh, yeah, that's just not fun. And then I can still run seven. Get a get a big old tree. And call it a day. Entire forest is an army. Yeah, fell stinger attacking face. Kind of annoying though. I really can't take three. Oh man. Jeez Louise. Whew. Man, we got smoked. We got absolutely smoked here. Wow. Alright, yeah, it was, uh, it was a fun deck. I definitely like the prospects of Simic Ramp. That, that Kami is very good. If, um... If that other card... Arboreal Grazer was playable in Historic at times. Uh, it was definitely in really great standard decks when it was in standard. Um, but if it's playable in Historic, it's definitely going to be playable in Alchemy. And yeah, I think uh, there, there's promise. Just got to reshape some stuff. Uh, get back to the drawing board. Um, got a little unlucky this game. What were what, what our stats? What are our stats? With this deck, this deck here. Okay, uh, there's some games that didn't play on camera, but yeah, five and seven overall, four and four since the last change. So, um, yeah, okay, there's there's promise. I uh, just gotta yeah reshape it. I wonder how playing best of three. Like, um, yeah, teamer colors are pretty sick, so might might, might actually be better suited in best of three where we can have the correct answers. So, yeah, this has been Taz Oakum in the arena. If you like the video, uh, hey, maybe comment a deck in the comments, and I'll uh, try and build a deck around that, or a card. Uh, yeah, if anybody has recommendations, I'd definitely take a crack at it. And uh, that's the plan to just make some interesting decks, have some fun games. So, I'll see you next time.